Hi, Matthew here. In this short tutorial, we're going to look at making octachains on the Electron Octatrack. The way we're going to do this is we're going to use a static and a flex track. So pick your track you want to be the flex track. Set loop to off and slice to on. Then choose the correct recording buffer, which would be buffer 2 for me. Next, go into Record Setup 1 on your flex track. Turn the R length down to 16. Turn loop off and set the source to track 1. Place down a record trig and unhighlight A, B, C, and D. This will leave us just with source 3, track 1. Lastly, hold function and select your record trig to make it a one-shot trig. Press function no to disarm it. We're not going to use it quite yet. Now on your static track, track one, we're going to load up a series of short samples. I'm going to use eight different snares. That'll do. Cool, got my eight snares. Next, place down eight trigs for your eight samples, evenly spread apart. That's important. Now, assign each trig to a different snare. Cool, it should sound like this. Great. Now return to your flex track. Press function yes to arm your record trig. Go into the audio editor so you can watch. There is our sample chain. Next, go into the slice menu. Hit yes. Choose create slice grid. We want eight slices because that's how many samples we put in evenly dispersed among the grid. Yes, align markers to zero crossing. There's our snare drums. I like to normalize my samples, so I'm gonna hit source to select the entire sample length. Go into edit, hit yes, and normalize the selection. Next, move over to the attributes page and reduce it down to 0 dB. After that, we need to save it. Go to Save and Assign Sample and name it appropriately. Assign it to Self. Now, either mute Track 1 or delete the trigs on Track 1. I'm going to delete the trigs. Go back to your Flex Track and place 8 trigs down. All of these trigs should sound the same. That's because they're all triggering slice one. To demonstrate our sample chain, I'm going to lock scene B to the start position of slice eight. Octachaining is a great way to squeeze the most out of your octatrack. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. Have fun, and thanks for watching.